Don't worry about the Knicks, because it's your boy, Chris, with the Knicks. Alright, so I keep saying I'm going to return back to my normal settings, but, um, <laughs> yeah, I will, but I don't know when. Maybe this week. I got to, because I got to get my costume on. You know how I do. I'm Chris with the Knicks. Then, um, Halloween will be around soon, but if you like Hollywood, every day is pretty much Halloween. <laughs> Uh, yeah, anyways, enough about me. So I just wanted to talk about the whole the Countless Bond music video. Do you love him? Now, when I first saw the thumbnail, I'm since I thought, you know, because Countless Vaughn in the 90s, you know, she came out with an album, but it didn't do well. Her first single, um, Wait For Me, it, it sort of did good. It barely, it was under the bubbling hot 100. And then, yeah, um, James Brown, I believe, funded her album, her first album, um, but it didn't take off, although she could sing, you know, she can sing, but I'm assuming because of her weight, you know, no one really wanted to take her seriously, because you know, like, you know this whole story with the, um, Marsha, um, the Weather Girls, Marsha Walsh, and other chick, when they did, um, the CNC Music Factory, you remember, um, Dave Cole? Uh, rest in peace and the um, other dude Sorry, I'm thinking off the top of my head right now. They had a um, you know a string of hits. There were two producers. They had um, Everybody dance now and make you sweat and um, the They got replaced with models and the models was ugly as hell But um, yeah, they, they pretty much got Millie vanilla but like a female version You know because of their weight and then I remember Tammy Lucas when she did the song of uh, remake to um, "Is It Still Good," they, on, they only got face shots of her. They didn't get no bu full body shots. So again, you know, they wasn't really pimping on no big chicks back then, except like Kelly Price. You know, you know, she really came through. You know, and that was hard. You know, so she really came through, and she was a background singer for Mariah Carey. So, you know, she already had like the, the connects or whatever. So, you know, Countless Vaughn, you know, I'm seeing her getting her, you know, singing back on because oh, Moesha and the Parkish, you know, she really, um, she did a lot of singing there too, you know. And I guess nothing really happened with that, but we all know she could sing. Uh, she was doing something with Usher. Uh, she did an interview with Usher and she was singing. And she sung a theme song to the Parkers. So um, we know Countless Vaughn can sing. But, so when I saw this initially, because another one of my favorite songs by her is uh, Not Only Wait For Me because back then, you know, it wasn't as much as cool to be a hoe back then as it is now. So that song was basically saying, you know, you're not getting none until we married. So, but nowadays that song would be irrelevant. Well, to, at least to a lot of females. But like I was saying, uh, Countless Bomb, you know, so when I saw the thumbnail, Oh, another favorite song by her is, that I like is, um, it's called, um, every, uh, I forgot the name of the song, it's like, every time we touch, the way for us, um, it's a love song, y'all know which one, it's the second popular song by her, and so, you know, when I saw the thumbnail, I thought she was gonna, like, sing it like that, you know, it would show her vocals, and man, when I told you, I was so dumbfounded and confused, I did not know what the hell what that was. <laughs> I didn't see it online where they didn't call her the Cantonese of strep throat, the queen of strep throat. Um, somebody said it looked, it sounded like uh, she recorded it on Boost Mobile. Another person said it's, <laughs> her voice sounded like somebody hold somebody. You know how like in the nineties you have to uh, play tapes. I know not a lot of people don't know what that is, but. You either you got a CD or a tape, and you uh, put the tape player, and you know how you press uh, both play and like the slow button. Somebody said it sounded like that, you know. <laughs> Somebody said it, it sounded like she was uh, taking a bowel movement. You know, they was just really going in, and I'm thinking for me, I really hope it is just a publicity stunt because they said she released another video, but I didn't really get to see that one. But um. The video itself, the visuals itself was, it was good, it was not bad, it's just that it was kind of off. 
But she looked good in the video regardless, but it was just, it was off. And then she showed her booty at the end, but <laughs> she's been doing that for a hot minute, so. Also, um, yeah, the video itself, the visuals, it was cool, but it was a little off. It was kind of funny, and the song itself was just not good, and it wasn't in her best light. So I'm hoping this is a publicity stunt. So when she be so when she released her next single, she be like, oh okay, yeah, <laughs> y'all thought I couldn't sing. That was just a joke. I'm hoping it's that. I'm really hoping it's that. Because if it's not, it's, yeah, countless, you in trouble, girl. You know, because like I said, I'm a countless Vaughn fan. You know, but, you know, I like to see her do good. You know, when she um, was coming up, she did say in two two seven that. Somebody, one of the cast members, and a lot of people speculated it might be Pearl, saying that she was too fat, black, and ugly to make it, to make it in Hollywood. And then not only she made it on Moesha, but she got her own spinoff on the Parkers. And then after that, you know, she just took a break or whatever. And you know, in Hollywood and being black, taking a break, you can't really do that because then, as like Britney Spears, you know, she went crazy. You know, she had her, her meltdown. And she came back, and, then, and you know, she gets praised, and you know, it ain't it ain't it ain't like she ever left. But you know, let's say Brandy or even Countless Vaughn do the same thing, and it's like, oh well, they already washed up, or they they can't sing no more. Although we know Brandy, especially just on um, TMZ, they was praising her. You know, they saying she was singing at the last real good, and she did. But as we all know, as black people, you always got to be washed up. And what, what, what is that about, you know? So there is some injustice there, but Countless Vaughn, my whole take on this, I'm thinking this might be a parody, you know, just to get some publicity, because you know, in this industry, um, all publicity is good publicity, whether bad or good, you, your name is out there. I'm hoping it, it's a joke, because if it's not, you know, I hope she gets her voice back together, because as a kid, you know, she sung the song, you know, what the world needs now. She sung that song like, like she had bills to pay, <laughs> like she had to pay somebody's rent. You know, that's that's just how you know the talented she was. As a lot of singers like Brandy, Monica, Aaliyah, you know, they had that talent. You know, they was young, but they they could they could sing, they could sing people over the table. They could sing somebody under the table. You know, call it what you want, but they was they talented and still is. You know. Yeah, so that's just my whole take on it. You know, I'm not gonna try to like roast countless, but she's been through enough already. You know, but that that video, that song is that was not the business for me. <laughs> I'm like the Cantonese instructor. Y'all really savage as hell. But <laughs> I'm just hoping it's a publicity stunt. It, I'm just hoping it's that. So the next video I do will hopefully be something that you know. If she can take off with, you know, it hits the Hot 100, you know, same for Brandy, same for a lot of our um, our legends, you know, um, you know, fortunately, you know, Countless Vaughn didn't get really that much publicity in singing, sort of like a Jamie Foxx thing, because Jamie Foxx came out with an album in the 90s, and, you know, but he didn't really get to take off until he did in the early, like, mid-2000s when he did, um, Gold Digger with Kanye West, and then a lot of people was like, "Oh, Jamie Foxx, we didn't know he could sing." Yeah, you didn't know. He, you just, you just um, came up on him. We already knew that. And if you check out his old stuff, it goes in. You know, I still listen to that. All right, any questions, comments, concerns? Leave in the question, uh, comment section below. Anything you want me to talk about? Leave it in the comment section below. Till then, this has been your boy Chris with the next. <laughs> Peace.